Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here. Well, exactly what I predicted would happen earlier this year is now happening. What am I talking about? I'm talking about millions of Americans right here in our very own homeland are now going hungry, literally millions of them. And food banks all across the country have hundreds of cars lined up in order to get access to the food that they have available. This is a crisis unlike anything the United States of America has seen before. And I warned that if we continued these draconian lockdown measures, that more people would continue to starve. And this is exactly what we're seeing. The COVID-19 pandemic may have added to some of that, but the majority of the reason that Americans are waiting in line for food is because of the lockdown measures and because of the mask mandates. These are literally causing jobs and businesses all across the country to close their doors, leaving millions without a job. And right now, about 48 million Americans right here at home are out of work. This is a disaster unlike we have ever seen. And right now, the cure for COVID-19, something that has a very high survival rate, is worse than the pandemic itself. Let me say that again. The cure is worse than the pandemic. And this is something that President Trump told us in the very beginning as well. But the fact of the matter is states and governors and leaders across our country are locking down their states again. This is going to wreak havoc, especially when their second wave comes along, right? Well, let me show you some articles of the people starving across the country. Take a look here, NBCnews.com. Millions of Americans going hungry as pandemic erodes incomes and destroys communities. There's going to be an enormous wave of people who are going to need our services. We alone can't create a strong enough safety net for the need that is coming. I hope you're prepared, folks. I hope you're prepared. CBSnews.com, food scarcity is on the rise in America as the economy reels. And these are all current articles. Dailymail.co.uk, more than 700 cars wait in two mile long food bank lines in Miami as nearly half of the U.S. population is without a job amid a spike in new coronavirus cases that has sparked fears of further shutdowns and layoffs. TheMercuryNews.com, coronavirus Bay Area food banks now serving more than 1 million a month. That's unheard of, by the way, and they'll run out at that rate. LosAngelesTimes.com column, out of work, desperate and hungry. They wait in long lines for food. And RegionalNews.com, I'm going to throw this one up there, but this one's important because what we do here in the U.S. and all the struggles we're having with, with uh, food and our food scarcity here in the U.S., well, it also impacts countries abroad. And this one sheds light on that. How coronavirus lockdowns from the U.S. to Nepal are starving the most vulnerable. Let me read this. In the U.S., the argument against the lockdown is often framed as a selfish choice that will kill people for the sake of opening the economy. Let me just pause right there for a moment, because here's the thing, that's what we often hear. You're selfish because you don't wanna stay home. You're selfish because you want a job and you don't wanna lose money. You're selfish. It just has to do with money for you people. And that's not it, right? I understand a few things. I understand that if we lose our businesses and work, right, and people can't get a job, well, then they lose their health care. And the only thing covered under or not covered, right, is COVID-19. So God forbid that anything else happens to you, right? Especially if you're without a job, you have no health care, you have no help. And when people are stressed like that, millions of people die, not only of malnutrition and starvation, but also due to stress, anxiety, and everything goes up. And our bodies are, are, are full of stress. And as a result, our health deteriorates. Because what I know is this, and I'm going to read on here. In places like Mathare Valley, the lack of work means that malnutrition and starvation are a clear and present danger. The United Nations World Food Program sounded the alarm in May in Sub-Sahara Africa was already at risk for food shortages after a plague of lo locusts ravaged much of the harvest. The fate of millions of people hung up by a thread. The eco economic crisis caused by COVID-19 lockdown policies, not just by the pandemic there, by the lockdown policies, broke that thread. And we go on. The UN is predicting 30 million children will die of starvation this year as a direct result 
of the economic crisis, aka the lockdowns, to put it differently, more people will die from the policies designed to stop the virus from the virus itself. You want to know who I'm saving? We're saving millions of lives abroad and here in the U.S. Just like they said, put it differently. More people will die from pollen. More. More are going to die as a result of the lockdowns than due to the virus itself. Call me selfish, right? Those who are locked down the state, wear the mask mandates, uh, kill businesses, they'll come back. They have no idea. No idea what they're shooting and vouching for. And right here in the US, let me just go back to things that are happening here. How about food shortages and skyrocketing prices here in the US? Take a look here, your son.com meat prices are going up and groceries putting limits on your purchases again. DCvelocity.com, rising grocery and meat prices, the impact of COVID on US food and beverage industry. WallStreetJournal.com, fastest rising food prices in decades drive consumers to hunt for value. Hey. Millions of people now out of work, they can't afford health care. Well, they don't got health care and they can't afford food. Meanwhile, food's going up. Ergo, the lines at the food bank, people. I'm so tired of being called selfish for something that I know is in a selfish nature. This is the idea of the communist Marxist ideology that has fallen into the mindset of, of an emotional response. The people who are pro lockdown and look, I don't mind if you wear a mask, wear one if you want, don't if you don't. Like it's that simple, right? But the fact of the matter is, is it's driving people away from businesses. Let me give you an example. I don't wanna go anywhere that makes me wear a mask. So I'm just not going out, right? This unfortunately hurts businesses, small businesses uh, spe specifically. Right? And so that's what's happening is a lot of people in America are saying, I'm done with it. Screw it. I don't want to go anywhere. I'll just, you know, and so that's what we're running into. And it's killing everything, causing mass starvation in the US and abroad. And excuse me if I'm passionate, but people are dying here and people are sitting back acting like we're selfish because we're against lockdown and mask mandates. There's a reason for that. And it's not about selfishness. Folks, it really isn't. It's about our freedoms. It's about our rights. And it's about people who are literally starving and losing their jobs. This has massive devastation and more people are going to be uh, die as a result of, of, of other diseases, not having the health care they need. It doesn't matter, fill in the blank. And that's what a lot of people, and look, if you're not on Restricted Republic, I wanna encourage you to get on over there. So much more information on restrictedrepublic.com, 14 day free trial, by the way. Uh, you can cancel or keep going, up to you. But anyhow, um, so much is happening and I know I rambled, but please don't forget to check out my partner at noblegoldinvestments.com. Right now, I want to encourage you guys to open that uh, 401k and get it converted into something backed by gold, silver, or precious metals. And right now, they've got $150 America the Beautiful silver coin. And I've showed it here on my channel quite a few times and they're giving that away with any qualified IRA. So give them a call, let them know you heard it on Lisa Haven. Anyhow, thanks for tuning in. I love all of you. Subscribe to the channel. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.